Smart automation, better business. Learn how to optimize your business with Solved. Hi, everyone. My name is Ben Fankhauser, and I'm a consultant at Solved Cloud. And at Solve Cloud, we help businesses automate processes using Salesforce, AI, and other modern technologies. And today, we're starting a multi-part series that will show you how to take a document submitted via a form, parse the data, and do meaningful work with it in N8N. Imagine this scenario. You have a vendor or a customer who needs to submit a form. Maybe it's a PDF of a receipt that your finance team needs to process or a document with important information that needs to get into your system. Right now, this is often a manual task. Someone uploads the file, someone else reads it, and then the information gets entered somewhere else. Our goal is to automate this process with NAN. So without further ado, let's hop in. All right, to get started, we first need to log into N8N. Now, N8N can be hosted on your individual machine. You can self-host, or you can log into the web application that's in the cloud. Once you log into N8N, we'll create a new workflow. How do you create a new workflow? Well, you go to the upper left-hand side of the screen, click on the plus icon, and then create workflow. And it will say, where do you want to create this? Well, I just created it in my personal drive, my personal folder. You can also create it in other projects if you want. Once you have created your workflow, now it's time to bring that file in. Now, just to call out, there are multiple ways that you can import a file into NADN, into your workflow. There's an import file function right here import from URL. Those are mainly used for JSON files to import them and then actually build out flows. But if you wanted to import a file like a PDF and then extract it, you could use a webhook or you could use the HTTP request nodes in order to do that. For our use case, our use case is a customer is going to a web form and then they're submitting the file. If you're wanting that use case, the best node to use is the form node. So N8N form is what you will add, and then you'll just click on on new N8N form event. What this does is if we go back to the canvas, it's going to add this node. If you double click on the node, it'll open up to the node and you can go ahead and configure it. Some things to note are that it comes with a test URL as well as a production URL. If you want to pr push your workflow live, you're going to want to use the production URL. You can also add authentication, title, a description, and then add form elements. So let's go ahead and walk through this. I'm not going to have any authentication. I'm going to name this form the form title file upload. The description, I'm just going to leave it as this is a test file upload form and then you need to add your form elements these form elements are the fields or the data that you're going to gather for our use case we're just going to gather a file upload i'm going to name it file upload it's going to be a file i'm going to leave it as multiple files because i could add multiple files if i wanted to but you can just make it one file and then you have to specify the file types that you want to accept. In my case, I only want to accept the PDF. So .pdf, and I'm gonna require this. So a person needs to upload a file in order to submit the form. Now, how do I test this? Well, it's really easy. All you do is you just execute the step, and then it's actually gonna bring you to the file upload test URL. So this is the test URL. I'm going to choose my file, test PDF, and then I'm going to go ahead and submit it. Now, if I go back to N8N, you're going to find that, okay, we, we tested it, and now we have an output. Well, the output is file upload. Notice that it is file underscore upload. That is the API name or the name of the outputs from 
this file right here, this field, file upload. So now when you push this data into different nodes in your workflow, you're gonna be referencing this file upload. Notice that it comes in as binary. There we go, I needed to scroll, but it comes in as binary. You can also see the JSON table and schema of it, but the binary is actually gonna have kind of all the data. So now when it comes to part one, part two, part three of these videos, part two is going to use this binary file upload, I guess, object for uh, the rest of the workflow. So that is the end of part one. It's how you upload a file to N8N using the form node. And now we're gonna get into extracting that data into JSON. All right, stay tuned for part two and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to help you automate your business. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more.